People give me the most generous gifts. Big, large boxes of this year's coolest piece of equipment. But I'm incredibly curious about the dehydrator. Yeah, we have a really simple dehydrator here. This is the type that most people would probably have at home. And there's so many cool things that you can do with it. Take whatever you've got left over and dry it out and use it in, in different ways. We're gonna make salsa powder. Awesome. We're gonna dehydrate all these vegetables, grind them up, and then use them to season fresh tortilla chips. So we're just gonna start slicing here. I'll give you tomatoes. And we've got peppers and onions and scallions. So the key here, you know, with when we start slicing these vegetables is we want to keep it pretty thin so okay. that they dry evenly and they don't take forever. Mine are thinner than yours. Is that a problem? That's not a problem. You know how to handle a knife. You're just little strips of the zest. We've got our lime. We've got our peppers. I it's, have to say it's really it's pretty just, just as is. that easy. It makes a really pretty picture for Instagram. We're going to take a jalapeno here because we want a little spice in our salsa, some onion, and a little cilantro. So what would you do with the peels? You know, the peels have good flavor. They just grind up right with everything else. So now these are going to take about 12 hours or so. It might go a little bit quicker. But again, the beauty is it's not going to over dry. So there's no nothing finicky about a dehydrator. Yeah. At 12 hours, it's no different than it is at 14 hours. That's the beauty of, of this low temperature. Great. So you want to grab a tray here and we'll get them into the dehydrator? Sure. They're going to they're gonna kind of shrink down as they start to dehydrate. That's it. That's so easy. It doesn't matter what kind of dehydrator you buy. It really doesn't. This really simple model, you get everything in there and you're ready to go. And it really, you can't do it in your oven, right? The problem with the oven, like we said, is just is your temperature. In the oven, the best you can do is about 150. We Here we're 125 or even below. You can do a range of temperatures here. You can go even lower and you can make yogurt. All right, so here are some vegetables that we put in yesterday. And you see we've got everything that we need for our salsa. If you want to grab some of those tomatoes and onions and peppers, I'm just going to put them here into your basic spice grinder. You know, this is coffee or spice grinder. You can fill it up. Yeah, so I'm not going to shake it. Get this grinding and give a little shake while it's so you just press on the top and then kind of move them around in there to help them grind. You're, you're not going to over grind this. We're trying to make powder. I love that you can put everything in yeah. at once. You can do it either way. Like I've got everything individual here. It's fine, kind of fun to have lime powder in your pantry. Ah. You're going to rim your margarita glasses with a little lime powder and salt. Careful with the jalapeno powder. Yeah. It's nearly weapons grade. Ooh. Now we've got a shaker here. So we're going to shake some of this in and we already have a little salt in there. Okay. Because we are making chips after all, and without salt, chips aren't going to be so good. Give that a little shake. Just want to be sure it's all mixed up. This is salsa powder. I know you want to use it on chips. So we've got just some regular corn tortillas, and we're going to cut them into triangles. That part's really easy. Really easy, right? And I've just got a, a pot of oil, and then just carefully drop them into the oil. About 30 seconds or okay, so. Okay, that is, um, yeah. Is, you know, really all it takes. You can see they're already starting to crisp up. We yeah. just wanted to get them a little more color. You shake salsa powder. Don't be shy with it. Give them a little toss, and the most important part, the funnest part now, is the taste test. Taste Cheers. test. Let's see. What do we think? It's so fresh. It's chips and salsa. Not just chips with this. Garlic bread. I think that's so with brilliant. This. Oh my god, salsa popcorn. We're going to revolutionize Super Bowl food this year. I think so. With I salsa just powder. Tomato soup and salsa powder? Croutons. I mean, I think it's kind of a magic ingredient. Right. There's so many great ways just to use the dehydrator, just in powdering vegetables and fruits and, and, and turning things into what we never expected. All right, I'm having another one. <laughs> I think Danny and I are just going to head off with our so, bowl yeah. of chips, and we'll see you guys later. Yeah.